Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul because Value Village had another 50% off sale so obviously I had to go to it. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I got was The Siren by Kira Cast, and I know that this book has a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people didn't like it, some people did like it. I bought it solely because this author is the person who wrote the selection series and that's like my guilty pleasure series. I love it even though it's kind of trash. I think it's a grand old time. So I want to see where I fall on the spectrum of liking it or hating it and also so I like sirens so a book all about sirens I'm here for it. The next book that I have recently became a movie starring Tom Hanks and it again had a lot of mixed reviews but it's The Circle by Dave Eggers and all I really know about this is that it follows a woman who was hired for The Circle which is like an internet company and then as she gets promoted or something then she starts realizing more and more mischief, I guess you could say, occurs in the company and she kind of becomes isolated and it's like this huge thing, but I'm here for it. I think it sounds pretty interesting, so we're gonna read it. The next book I'm actually so excited about because it was on my most anticipated releases when it first came out, but it is White Bodies by Jane Robbins. It follows a couple who seem to have the perfect life. The wife's twin quickly realizes that the husband may not be as perfect as he's portraying. She slowly watches her sister becoming somebody who she isn't, and she decides that she's going to take matters into her own hands, and it's that story, but I think it sounds really good, and I'm super excited to read it. The next book I have is If I Die Tonight by Alison Galen and this sounds real good. It's a thriller suspense novel. The book follows a woman who stumbles into the police station after a carjacking. A boy named Leon Miller was hit during this carjacking and it turns him into some kind of hero in their small town and it also turns Wade, a high school outcast, into a might be a killer and it's the story of that and I just think it sounds real fun. I think that the tagline is really cool. It says, by the time you read this, I'll be dead. And I just think that it sounds really interesting and I want to know what the heck is going on. So I'm here for it. The next book I have, I bought because of who the author is. I recognize it. I also recognize the cover and it is Inviticus by Ryan Grodin. It follows the son of a time traveler who fails his like entry exam to become a time traveler. So he resorts to taking a job on the black market, captaining a crew that goes through time and steals things, valuables, that kind of jazz. I have, honestly have not heard a lot of people talk about this. I just recognized it, so I was like, we might as well buy it 50% off, you know? The next book I bought, because I have the first and third book in the series, so you know, we need the second book in the series, obviously. It's Second Grave on the Left by Dorinda Jones. The first book is First Grave on the Right. Have I read it? No. I'm pretty sure it follows, like, demons and, you know, that kind of paranormal shit, but... I had the first and third book, so saw it for 50% off, might as well. The next book I bought because I think the cover is really pretty and also I recognize it and also like I, I've seen it everywhere, so I figured we might as well get it if it's 50% off. It's Wink Puppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tolk. I know that she wrote The Boneless Merciless, which came out last year, and I really liked that book. I thought it was really cool, so I want to see what her other novel has in store for me. The next book I have is Exit Pursued by a Bear by E.K. Johnson and I don't know all that much about this other than it's a contemporary. I'm pretty sure a girl got raped and like it's her story but not 100% sure if that's what this is about. I just recognize the cover and you know 50% off sale. I can never say no if I recognize a cover I buy it so here we are. And then the final book I bought solely because Mermaids is Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. I don't know anything about this book other than mermaids, but I love mermaids, so I bought it because that's the logic of Jayanne. Alright guys, so that was my little book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!